Hi guys, I'm Vinny. I'm getting used to playing my very first drum kit. I went for a cheapish uh, Thoman brand a Millennium 850 MPS and I've had it for about 10 days. I've been uh, getting used to playing it. I've started learning initially on a little tabletop drum thing, uh, the Yamaha DD75. And of course, it's quite a big change when you go onto a full size kit. I'll make a video specifically about that. I think it's very interesting. There's some positives and negatives to both aspects. One thing I've been working on uh, recently is playing doubles. And I'm going to show you a couple of exercises that I'm doing. I'm a complete beginner. I'm just a few months into learning. So I'm not here to give you educational uh, videos. This is how you should do things. I'm demonstrating what progress I'm making learning drums as a beginner. Yeah, so I think 100 is about the maximum I can get to. It's a pretty cool exercise. I think it's about playing 30 seconds, if I'm right. I'm not 100% sure, but you have to do a double here, followed by a double on the hi-hat. And I think it gets very interesting when you do the snare. I actually like the sound of that. It sounds like... Um, I play guitar and um, if you put a, like a, a slap delay on the guitar, you get this 50 sound, this little slap back sound -da -da, kind of thing. It feels a little bit like that. It feels like you've put a slap back delay on the, on the snare, which is also a very cool production effect. I was watching all these guys doing these little tricks on the hi-hat, this little trap hi-hat kind of thing. And I was wondering, oh, you know, how did they do that? That looks really hard. But actually, once you get your doubles sorted out, it's not as hard as it looks. I've been, uh, I'm not doing it well, so I'm not pretending that, uh, yes, I can do it too. No, I'm starting to get the hang of it. But if I show an example, either playing doubles or playing triples, that actually gives you this crazy little spit into the hi-hat, which is quite an interesting thing to do, uh, even with like a basic bit. So if, if I show that. So that's it. That's how I've been learning doubles. Uh, please subscribe to the channel and follow me to see the rest of my progress. If you have any comments or any suggestions, I'd be most grateful if you leave a comment, like the video, that would be great. Well, thank you very much for watching. Take care, see you in the next video. Bye guys. Bye.